League leader St. Patrick's Athletic were up against Drogheda United at Richmond Park, while second placed Bohemians played host to Derry City. Well, with six games to go in the league campaign, every single point now extremely valuable. St. Pat's have allowed both Bowes and Shelburne, as I said, back into the title chase with a series of recent draws. So manager Brian Kerr was hoping they could break that sequence last night. Here's what happened at Richmond Park. With so much at stake, you rarely get classic encounters at this stage of the season. And despite the difference in table positions, St. Pat's and Drogheda United both battled equally hard for the points last night. The first chance of the first half, falling there to Paul Campbell. He struck it really well, but it was just over John Connolly's crossbar. The ball knocked down by Liam Buckley. He hit it on the volley, and it wasn't too far away. Well, the first goal of the game came after just seven minutes. Gareth Burns' long clearance, eluding the Drogheda United defenders. Jason Buckley was there. Connolly tried to make the save, but Buckley pounced on the loose ball. It was 1-0 to St. Pat's. Well, the long clearance from Gareth Byrne doing the damage, really, as it eluded, first of all, Colm Tresson. He misjudged the flight of the ball, but so too did Noel Reed. A bad mistake there. Buckley came in, Connolly got a touch, but the ball falling fortuitously for Buckley, and he made no mistake. Well, five minutes later, Drogheda United were back in the game. As they pushed forward, looking for the equaliser, Barry O'Connor won the duel there with Peter Carpenter. Bobby Brown pushed it through for Trevor Vaughan, and he made no mistake from the finish. So a shock there for St. Pat's, who had taken the lead just five minutes earlier. Barry O'Connor doing extremely well there against Carpenter. Bobby Brown flicking it through. And Trevor Vaughan applying the crucial finishing touch. 1-1. Well, a short time later, St. Pat's could have retaken the lead. John Connolly fumbled his attempted save there. The shot from O'Flaherty was cleared off the line. And then from the resulting corner, more danger for Drogheda United. Paul Campbell about to swing in the corner. Connolly not getting the punch on it, and Dave Campbell sneaking in at the far post, but not getting the touch that he would have liked to. Campbell always dangerous in those set-piece situations. But the league leaders did retake the lead just four minutes before half-time, and Paul O'Sam played a big part in the build-up to this goal. Initially, he found Brian Morris Rowe out on the touchline, Morris Rowe playing it into Ricky O'Flaherty, O'Sam again involved into Liam Buckley, and a save there from John Connolly, with Ricky O'Flaherty following up to make it 2-1 to St. Pat's. Well, that really was a well-worked goal, one of the best moves of the game. Paul O'Sam very much involved. Liam Buckley getting the better there of Colm Tresson, the save from Connolly, with Ricky O'Flaherty alive and awake to the danger, he applied the finishing touch. Well, we're into the second half now, and Drogheda United drew level again just two minutes after the restart. Drogheda United, who've had problems scoring of late, and that's reflected in their lowly league position. An excellently worked goal here in which Colm Tresson played a big, big role. Some persistent play from him. He battled hard to keep this attack going, got in a super cross, and what a finish by Barry O'Connor. Well, that stunned the uh, Richmond Park crowd. And obviously delighted Barry O'Connor there with that goal. Colm Tresson did oh so well. A poor clearance by the St. Pat's defence. What a cross. And there was O'Connor to apply the finish. So 2-2 then and just two minutes gone in the second half. So it was all to play for as the play swung from end to end. Paul McLaughlin on the ball now for Drogheda United. A good challenge from Campbell. Played upfield by Carpenter. Barry O'Connor for Drogheda United lifting it forward. David Nugent beating the offside trap. A great chance for him. The second half substitute, though, being denied on that occasion by Gareth Byrne in the St. Pat's goal. Well, from the resulting counter-attack, a definite penalty appeal on St. Pat's behalf. Jason Byrne felt he was taken down illegally in the area, but the referee waved play on. Well, finally, now to the goal that was to decide the issue. Paulo Sam involved again at midfield. Peter Carpenter breaking down the left-hand side. He swung it in. Up went Jason Byrne, another second-half substitute. And there again, Ricky O'Flaherty in the vital place to apply the finishing touch. 3-2 to St. Patrick's Athletic. A good jump by Jason Byrne and a splendid finish by Ricky O'Flaherty. How important he has proven to St. Pat's this year in their challenge for the Premier Division title. Well worth another look at the goal that grabbed the crucial three points for Pats. We definitely took the game to them in a, in a very diligent way in the last 20 minutes. The goal was hard fought for. It was probably hard luck on Drogheda really, but um, we'll take the points no matter what way we got them at the end. Mm. Now, Ricky O'Flaherty didn't have his best game uh, of the season. He's a big favourite here at Richmond Park, but he came up with the goods again for you. 
That's right, you're right. He didn't have a great game. He didn't get around the pitch quick enough for my liking. But his, his finish on the first goal that he scored was an excellent finish. And uh, he was there to get the winner late in the game when we needed him pretty really badly. And that's really what he's played for. Having gone in front twice during the game, Brian, were you a little bit worried when they'd pulled back to that, OK, you got the third goal. Do you think, oh, no, will they pull it back again? Well, a little bit worried would be an understatement. <laughs> <laughs> You know, we, we, we sometimes make it quite difficult for ourselves, but it's entertaining. There's lots of goals, lots of excitement, and you never know what's going to happen next at this ground, but I wish it was a little bit easier sometimes. One comment that has been passed quite a lot during the season about Pats is that it has been a team that finishes strongly. So the fitness obviously has been quite good, and it has paid dividends this season, Brian. That's right. We've won a lot of games late in games, or a three of the draw on occasions. Um, no problem with our fitness. We prepare well. Um, Everybody walks hard and sometimes you get good rewards for that.